charged with the non-capital murder of the March 21st shooting death of Jonathan Richards, 21-year-old Daniel George and 30-year-old resident of St. Vincent Elton Andrew, made another court appearance at the Guave St. John Magistrate Court on Thursday. In an interview with GBN, attorney at law Anselm Clouden, who is representing Vincentia National Elton Andrew, pointed out that during the court proceedings on Thursday, the necessary applications were made for both the murder accused to be jointly charged. In certain preliminary uh, submissions before the magistrate with respect to the join of the, the charges. And we allege that um, the, the preliminary inquiry had begun with Elton George and about three months later, with Elton Andrews and about three months later, Daniel George was joined well, purportedly added to the, the charge sheet. Well, the charge sheet is not a legal document. And we took objection to the fact that there's a procedure for joining, especially where a reasonable time has elapsed. Clouden detailed the steps that were taken by the court to ensure that the application was approved. The charge against Elton, jo and Elton Andrews, and you apply for a joiner, and there you join um, Daniel George in the same indictment, in the same information, since we are now before the magistrate. So that was the nature of the application made. Meanwhile, the presiding magistrate, Francis Paul, also made the ruling that the five to seven key witnesses will be recalled for cross-examination. As the attorney representing Daniel George, Mr. Henry Pariag, didn't have the opportunity to do so. The lawyer, in a phone interview with the GBN News team, explained. But basically, we agree that the witnesses who have given evidence should be recalled so that I could cross-examine them by me, yeah, because they were they gave evidence when I was not there, okay. And I have I have a right to cross-examine them, so that's basically what happened. Both Elton Andrew and Daniel George will make their next court appearance in April. Rena Thomas, GBN News.